We'll guide you through how to turn off parental controls on an iPhone. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Parental controls go and limit what can be done on your iPhone. Perhaps you can't go and access certain websites or apps, or perhaps you can't do and change certain settings as well. Also, you may find that there's screen time settings set up and you can go and turn that off on the iPhone as well. So we'll guide you through this step by step, make sure it's this full video and let's get started. So what you need to do is you need to go and open up the settings app on your iPhone like so. Now you need to head down and you need to go and find the option for screen time and you can head into here like so. Next, what you need to do is you need to go and scroll down and you can find content and privacy restrictions. These are the main things we're turning off. We'll cover these other ones in a moment as well. So we can come into here. So you can go and completely turn them off by hitting the switch off at the top. Alternatively, you can come down here and go and just choose the individual settings you want. For example, location services, we could go and set that to allow. In this case though, I'm gonna go and turn the entirety of these off. So I'll press that there. It's going to go and ask you for the screen time passcode. So you'll need to go and get the person who set this up to enter it. If you did and you forgot on it, you can still go and get around this though. I can remember it in this case so I can enter it and I'll turn them off. If you've gone and forgotten that code, you can go and press change screen time passcode at the bottom. What you can do is you can go and change it or just go and turn it off. You can do either of these so you can change to one you do know. In this case, I'll go and turn it off though. So I'll press that there. And if you forgot on it, you can just press forgot password and enter in your Apple ID to recover it. You can sign into the Apple ID to recover it and I've now turned it off. As you can see, it says lock and that's it. Now I can go and freely turn these off without the passcode. If you found this useful, then leave a like.